Hello everyone. Welcome back to another mixed media art demo. Today I'm going to be working on a 8x10 piece of Arsha's cold or excuse me hot press paper using my Caran d'Ache white here as a resist. I'm also going to be using my Lyra Aquacolors, the Cotman watercolors, and miscellaneous other pencils and some watercolors. So here I'm just adding in some white um, with the Caran d'Ache. I'm working on exploring the idea of using a resist technique that I have seen and I really like the effect of it. I think it's really a cool way to add texture into the piece when using the watercolors. So here I'm just making some marks. It's kind of hard to do because you kind of have to trust what you're doing because you can't see what you're doing because it's white. But I really like the effect. I haven't played around with the other colors yet, but that is going to be in the next video. So here I'm mixing up some blue. This is the DeWent Line and Wash Kit. Um, I did a video about that as well. Um, this is the Payne's Gray, and I love this color. So that's mainly why I'm pulling it out here, because I don't have another Payne's Gray. I could mix one, but I'm kind of lazy sometimes. I'm adding in a bit of more of the white Caran d'Ache 1 to, or Neo Color 1 to the sky because I want it to have sort of this wispy, cloudy effect. And I think I'm achieving that quite well here. And then I'm going to add in a little bit more of that blue color, just a little bit at the bottom. I like working in a, with all of my different materials. Um, mixed media is kind of one of my favorite things to do. I enjoy experimenting with how things work together, how the pencils and the art crayons all work together to create this sort of melange of swat of colors and lines. And they all have their different properties. One of the things that you have to be careful with is learning how they interact with each other because you don't want the piece to become unstable. So for me, I just make sure that most of my things are water soluble, most of the supplies, and they all kind of work together. Um, I'm not using any oil pastels or anything like that because those are really hard to work with and they don't blend and play nicely with watercolors and you have to fix them and it's a whole big mess. So 
Also, they become, can become quite chunky if you are not careful. So I'm going back in with a pencil here, another DeWint. Um, this is the cool brown color. And I'm adding in just some lines and textures with that. Um, I like that ochre color that I added with the uh, watercolor there. So I start off with this base of watercolor and then I go back in and I'm going to start using my Lyra colors. And the Lyras are also water soluble. The aqua colors are also water soluble and they are really fun to work with because you can get some really cool effects with them. They're very velvety and buttery. They go on really, really smooth. Um, I am wanting to eventually try out the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 set because I've heard that those are incredibly cool as well. And I've done a lot of videos about the Lyra marker. So if you want to check the, out my video about Lyra, I will put that up above. Here I'm adding in this um, okra color which is lovely because it's sort of this brownie orange and the thing that I love about these is that you can really make some good solid marks and you can also smooth them out a little bit with some water and make them more of a wash so you have a bunch of different ways that you can play with these um, Lyra aqua colors. Here I'm going in with this deep blue that is going to add just a little bit more drama to that sky because I feel like it might need I always like a, a really dramatic line somewhere in my work. Um, so yeah. Adding in just more of this yellow color. Really trying to stay within the greens and blues. I'm going to go back in with this ivy went color and make some more marks with it. with it and now I'm going to go back in with the this abergine color um, it's more of a purplish color I'm not really a fan of purple but this color for some reason it's gray purple uh, violet is really appealing to me and I think it adds just a little bit of something so that's going to be it for today don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day and I will see you in the next video. If you have any comments, please, please, please leave them and I will try to answer any questions you might have. Thanks so much. Bye.